Ah, it's, um, it's good to see you. My name is Matthew. Um, forgive me. Just finishing off a small glass of uh, Petrus Pomero, 61. Very good year. Not the, not the finest year, but a good year. Hmm. Now, I have been retired for some time, but a friend of yours, a very dear friend of mine, spoke very highly of you, and I agreed to open business. I'll be it for free. Now, please, uh, take a seat in that oversized but very comfortable armchair. Now, before we begin, I assure you that uh, conducting hypnosis under the uh, slight influence of alcohol is of no concern. i kidding, of course. This is cranberry juice, but truce I do have in the cellar. Bear with me. Now, hypnosis is a, a natural phenomenon. The, the mind wants to be hypnotized. There are different degrees in which people are susceptible more and less so. To begin, we'll uh, do a short assessment of your um, susceptibility. It sounds a little bit sinister, but I assure you, you are on the precipice of uh, something very great. Uh, hypnosis. Uh, this modern-day hypnosis was originally uh, dreamt up and was the thought process of a, a man called Franz Mesmer in the 17th century. And Franz, and, and it's on coincidentally, not coincidentally, where we get the word mesmerize. Mesmer. Franz uh, hypothesized that uh, there was a, a magnetism, uh, animal magnetism between each and every animal in the world. Uh, and it explained the, the draw between two people or groups of people. He uh, conducted a series of events to uh, help guide this magnetism between people realign it in some cases. Again, I'm not here to provide a history lesson, but understanding the principles and the fundamentals is uh, useful sometimes, at least for, for me. Now, what I would ask you to do before we run this little preliminary assessment like you to say in your mind I give myself permission to be hypnotized and now I will repeat I give myself permission to be hypnotized repeat that in your head just a couple all that's required. I give myself permission. Permission to be hypnotized. Now, I would like you to stare at a dot in the middle of my forehead. Stare at that dot, and you'll 
find yourself becoming more relaxed. In fact, my voice helps deepen this relaxation. Every word I speak deepens this relaxation. And even now, you find yourself with every word getting a little bit more relaxed. Your eyes becoming a little bit heavier with each blink. And every time you do blink, it's a slight struggle to keep your eyes open, heavier and heavier, perhaps even a little bit watery. Now, if you haven't done so already, feel free to leave your eyes closed on the next blink. Very good. Now, with your eyes closed, I will count back from five. And upon reaching one, you will find your relaxation doubles and you fall into twice as much relaxation. Five. Four. Three. Feeling so relaxed. Two. So. One, you feel yourself twice as relaxed. Now, you are entering a state of trance. You could open your eyes if you wanted to, but you just don't care to. You don't need to. What I would like you to do with your eyes closed just lock your fingers together out in front of you and then raise your two index fingers until they are a couple of inches apart. Now even before we begin the exercise you can almost feel a magnetism drawing your two fingers together. Now I'd like you to try to keep them separate for just a moment. You can feel them almost as if there's a magnet on each side being drawn together, being just sucked together. You can feel your fingers getting closer and closer together drawn to each other and as your fingers touch the moment they do they will be locked together as if cement had been poured around each of your fingers and set in place so close now so close the moment they touch they are locked in place and it's almost as if even if you wanted you couldn't pull them apart they're so so tight, locked into position. Now upon my command, the bond will break and your fingers release at the count of one, five, four, three, One, released. Your fingers might even feel a bit stiff, as if they were locked in place somehow by some unseen force. Now, depending on how tightly locked your fingers were, or whether or not they even came together at all, this gives us a good indication as to 
how susceptible your mind is to guided hypnosis. Now, it's worth noting that even for those whose fingers couldn't even touch, your mind is still accessible to a range and degree of hypnosis, just not to the same depth, or at least uh, a few more sessions will be required to unlock the mind. I myself am not very susceptible to hypnosis, much to the frustration of my colleagues back in my uh, younger years. Now, regardless and irrespective of how much of a degree of hypnosis we have with you, we will be doing some work. with our pocket watch. Now the pocket watch has become symbolic with uh, hypnosis and all forms of trans work. Now being in a trance doesn't mean you are no longer capable of breaking out of the trance. Trance is merely a deepened state of focus where you are more susceptible to follow the instructions of somebody. And because of this deepened state, it means the subconscious is easier to advise on and guide. Now. I think you're going to find the next part quite interesting. Open your eyes, if you're able to. Open your eyes and you're alert, calm, but still relaxed. Put you now in a pre-state of uh, hypnosis, and this will prepare you for the next stage. Now, the pocket watch has had its battery removed. This isn't even a particularly expensive pocket watch. It's been very successful with me and I've had it for a very long time, but it's of no real value beyond uh, sentimental. Now, what I would like you to do is simply follow when it swings, keep your head perfectly still and follow with your eyes only. Good. Good. It might seem quite fast. It's okay. Just let your eyes flick back and forth, back and forth. Good. Very good. Now. 
Now, as you watch the pendulum with every swing of the pendulum, each word I speak sends you deeper and deeper. If your eyes begin to get heavy, as if there is some weight attached to them, just close your eyes. There's no need to fight. Close your eyes and let your mind As before, you will hear only the sound of my voice. Any background noise that you hear in the close proximity or a little bit further away, those sounds can simply be ignored. And with the use of your incredible intellect. And perhaps you might smile and think, what great intellect. But that's the thing. You have so much more. So much more to offer than you feel confident putting forward. In this focused state, we are going to remind you and tool you to bring your greatness to the surface. Now what I'd like you to do with your eyes closed Focusing on every word I speak. I want you to think back to the last time you were really happy. And for some people they have to go back only a couple of hours, a day, a week. For some it's months and for some it might even be years. There's always some point in time that we were really quite happy. Even in the depths of this wonderfully warm and rich relaxation, you feel a weighted blanket settle itself on the fabric of your clothes. comforts you, and in this comfort and warmth, you focus on this happy moment. You can picture it with the infinite power of your mind. You can visualize it. You can almost feel yourself beginning to rise up out of your body in the chair and this peaceful version of yourself is able to transpose itself into this happy moment and you still feel that weight of relaxation of the blanket your body feels perhaps a little bit heavy but in a playful way Superimpose yourself into this happy moment, and it's here. The 
feeling of that moment floods in to your body. It's happy, you're smiling, it's infectious, that, that was a great time for you. It was comforting, it was funny. And in this state, you remember that you are really quite amazing. Because what you have just done is an amazing thing. You've unlocked a part of the subconscious that not many people can. And then put yourself back into this place with nothing other than the power of thought and a little help from me. Now, with this happy, funny, comforting, but still drowsily relaxing feeling, think about something that you would like to improve in you. Maybe it's just loving yourself a bit more. Maybe it's being a bit faster. Maybe it's having the courage to ask that person out. Maybe it's just the courage to tell yourself that you are enough, that you are already valid. Maybe you like to give something up. Maybe you're a smoker. Maybe you drink more than you would like. Maybe you turn to food for a source of happiness. Whatever the change, and I purposefully do not ask, I don't need to know. That's personal and it's for you. All I'm doing is providing the tool belt. You are now in a position where you feel empowered. You're happy. You're so relaxed. You don't need cigarettes anymore. You don't need to buy the double cheeseburger. You already have that contented feeling. You don't need to do anything specific. Just be who you are. Maybe you want that job. Maybe you want the pay rise. You can do it. You can work a little bit harder. Focus just a little bit better. Try and be a little bit more understanding. I find ourselves sometimes in a position where maybe we have a, a lecture, a tutor, boss, even a friend that causes us such stress, but there's a reason why they cause us stress, there is a reason why they do what they do, why they act as they do, and in this place, in this mental state, you are with infinite patience. You can see things from an entirely neutral perspective. Maybe you were a little impatient. Maybe if you were going through what they were, you would be acting in a very similar situation. Maybe not, maybe you'd be better. But they're not. Maybe nobody is quite as incredible as you are. Remember, we must believe in ourselves. We must be patient with ourselves. What I would like you to do is continue to listen to the sound of my voice. I'm going to count back from 10 
and when we reach one, you will come back to yourself, and you can keep your eyes closed if you wish. Ten. Feel yourself not leaving the happy place, but taking it with you. Nine. Seven. That relaxation still lingers with you. Seven. Two sevens are better than one. Six. Five. Four. We're drawing ourselves back into the chair. It's comfortable, it's welcoming to be back in the armchair, it's so, so well cushioned. Three, two, remember the happy place, one, be the change that you want to see. Welcome back. Now, as a hypnotist of uh, some renown, I have a, a link with my clients, uh, a knowing and understanding, and with this little watch, you are able to visit somewhere entirely different, but familiar, even in your body language I can sense a change, I can sense Be very proud of yourself. Not many people embrace the idea of hypnosis and for some people hypnosis is a step too far. For some people they're actually content with staying how they are and there's nothing wrong with that. We don't force change on anyone. In the end it is always your choice. See me only as a guide. A uh, little bit of support. I hope that our session today has been helpful for you. Hypnosis is, again, a natural phenomenon. If you find yourself lost in life and locked into some bad habits, just know that help is there via hypnosis or counseling. Just your friends. You are amazing. You are not alone, and I wish you the very best, as always. Our time is almost up. It has been the very best pleasure. I'm enormously proud of you. Truly. I've been retired for some time, but this was, uh, well, quite
remarkable. Remember, be the change. Don't talk about something. Do it. Get out there and just do it. Awkward or not, face it. Deal with it. I am always here.